Good afternoon everyone. Oyster Mushroom Expert is with you. I want to note that when I made the previous video, I did not yet know the term grain spawn. In our country, spawn is called grain mycelium. That is, threads of mushroom hyphae, intertwined with each other, which form a network. This is mycelium, and grain spawn, also mycelium. That's why in that video I say mycelium, meaning grain spawn. I mentioned this video here, there is a link to it in the comment. I made a video about the rate of adding grain spawn to the substrate and promised to talk about whether it is possible to increase the yield of oyster mushrooms if, for example, not 5% of the spawn, but 10 are added to one bag of the substrate. Very often, mushroom growers ask this question, does the amount of spawn affect the yield? No, it doesn't. The yield depends only on how many fruiting bodies the mycelium that has occupied the substrate can feed. And the oyster mushroom feeds on the substrate, and not on the mycelium. If the substrate is balanced in terms of nutrients, and the oyster mushroom has enough of all the nutrients, the yield will be good, even if you put 2.5%, and not 3 or 4% of the spawn. What happens if you put a little spawn in the mushroom block? There will be fewer growth points and the growth of hyphae will slow down. In areas where oyster mushroom hyphae have not grown, spores of pathogenic microorganisms will hatch. If they grow at a faster rate than oyster mushroom hyphae, the substrate may be damaged. And if the spores of pathogens grow more slowly, then it is quite possible that the hyphae will suppress the development of mold. But, this will take time and effort, so the yield will be lower. However, let's be clear about what it means to put a little grain spawn. What percentage do we mean? Much depends on the properties and quality of the substrate itself. Let's say you make a substrate from a variety of plant materials using tunnel pasteurization. If you are sure about the quality of the spawn, you can put it in 2.5% and get the same yield as if you put in 3.5%. If you pour hot water into the straw, keep it in a container for several hours, the quality of the substrate may be low. Then the lack of grain spawn can greatly affect the rate of overgrowth of the substrate. Let's see what happens if we put in more grain spawn. If it is of high quality and active, an increased dose will cause the appearance of primordia a couple of days earlier. Therefore, you need to consider what is more important to you. When you put more grain spawn, the cost of the mushroom block increases. But, if the primordials appear two days earlier, you will empty the incubator faster. It may be more profitable for you to empty the incubator earlier so that you can make the substrate more often. When the grain spawn is old, you can use 5-7% to to speed up the development of oyster mushroom hyphae. If the spawn is very old, even an increased dose most likely will not help. Grain spawn that has been stored for 4-5 to five months accumulates substances that inhibit its growth which trichoderma will immediately take advantage of and begin to conquer the substrate before the oyster mushroom. Especially if you have errors during heat treatment. Separately, I want to talk about frozen grain spawn. The mycelium should be stored in the refrigerator at a temperature of 0 to plus 2 degrees Celsius. If the spawn was frozen during storage, it may also have reduced growth activity. For example, you used frozen grain mycelium and saw that the blocks did not grow. Or they become covered with yellow spots. In the next sowing, increase the amount of such spawn by one and a half times. That is, inoculate not 3%, but 4.5%. Although, of course, it is better to use unfrozen grain spawn that has been properly stored. That's all for today. Have a great day and a great harvest everyone.